Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dej and today we're gonna replicate a double exposure effect. There are plenty of different ways to achieve this effect in Photoshop. But the question is, can we do it in 2 minutes? Uh, come on, you know the answer. Here I have a white layer called white for a lack of creative names and I've put this portrait shot on its own layer. Just make sure that the image you're using has a white background and that it has noticeable contrast between dark areas and highlights. Also, I've put my background on a separate layer on top of the portrait layer. That majestic pine tree. Uh, that's a cedar tree. Let's align them together to see what the effect will look like. I'll select the background and decrease its opacity. And with the move tool, I'll adjust its position. When you're finished, just set the opacity back to 100%. Turn off the background layer, select the portrait layer, and then go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. This will create a brush out of these pixels here. You can call it whatever you want, and click OK. Turn off the portrait layer, select the background layer and turn it on, and hold down the Alt or Option key on a Mac, and click this button to add a black layer mask. By the way, go ahead and check my video on layer masks. You can find the link in the description. Now with the mask selected, click on the brush tool, and click this arrow here to open the brush preset picker. You should see the brush we just created. Select it, make sure the foreground color is white and the opacity here is 100%. Align the brush correctly and click once. Wow, this looks pretty good for a short video, doesn't it? Now you can get creative and add your touch. You can create a colored layer and play with the blending modes. You can add a photo filter, a gradient overlay, whatever. Just make sure you don't mess up, okay?